All right, this is for Algebra 1. We're talking about functions and what a function is. So on your paper, would you make sure you go ahead and write functions? And we're going to look at the definition. A definition of a function is a function is a relation where every input has exactly one output. And you've seen function tables with the machines that have like a number going in, something's happening here, and the number's coming out. So you have like a little robot, and it might say, you know, a four is going in, something's happening, and you're getting an eight out. Six is going in, something's happening, and you're getting a 12 out. Well, it might tell you to times two. So you've seen these function machines, kind of cute and fun, um, but we're going to really dive more into it. So the definition of a function is a function is relation where every input has exactly one output. So we're going to look at different ones. Right now that might seem a little vague, but we're going to look at different examples. So for a table, we're going to use an input-output table. And our input-output table in math and Algebra 1 and beyond, you're probably going to use x and y a lot more um, because it will be graphing onto a coordinate plane. So here's an, an example of a function table. So you have, now these numbers, I'm just making up some numbers for x, and then I'm just going to make up numbers for y. Don't feel like you have to find the rule yet from negative 2 to like input this number to this number. So I'm just going to make up some numbers. But what I'm doing is I'm making sure that every input has exactly one output. If negative 2 goes into a machine, something happens to it and comes out 7. Negative 1 goes into a machine, something happens, comes out 12. 0 goes in, is 19. 1 goes in, 22 comes out. 2 goes in, 27 comes out. That is an example of a function. Every input has exactly one output. Now a non-example, a non-example in table format would be something like this. If we had negative 2, went in as 7. Negative 1, went in as 12. Well, that's okay right now. 0, 19. But let's say negative 1, instead of negative 1 going in and getting 12, negative 1 comes out and gets in the 20, it goes in, but 22 comes out. That is not a function because the negative 1, same input, but two different outputs. So that is what makes it, making it not a function. If negative 2 goes in, we should get 7, but if it comes out 27, nope, it's not a function. You do not want your x values to repeat. So can't have the same input produce two different outputs. So you don't want the same input. These are your input numbers and these are output numbers. Think about science too. These are also known as your independent variable and your dependent variable. Okay, so you can't have the same input produce two different outputs. Um, so for an example here though, here's another example that can be a, um, a function. What happens if you have negative 2, 2, 0, uh, let's say 2, 2, 2. You can have the y values repeat. So the outputs can repeat. Output can repeat. The inputs you do not want to repeat. Okay, so there's a table format. All right, so let's look at the mapping. In fact, down here, I'm going to have you um, split that up. I'm going to have you also put ordered pairs down here. Now, a mapping. A mapping is very similar to a table but it looks like this. So here's an example. So example would be like one, uh, two, three. And this one is being paired to four. This two is being paired to five. This three is being paired to six. Don't worry, worry about the rule right now. We're just identifying functions. Every input went to exactly one output. Okay, here's a non-example. If 1 goes to 4 and 5, and 
2 goes to 6. Right here, this is saying that 1 is going to 4 and 5. Well, that's not possible for a function. You can't put in 1, do something to it, and get the same, get a 4 and do it again, and then get a 5. So that's an example of not a, not a function. Ordered pairs. So the ordered pairs, now we're going to do the braces, and we're going to do a set of ordered pairs. So like 1, 2, um, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is an example. That's fine. Every order, every input, the x value has exactly one output. The 1's going in and getting 2. The 3's going in and getting 4. The 5's going in and getting 6. But here's a non-example. Oops, that's a non-example. Whoops, that's a bad one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 6. Right here is the non-example. You cannot get 1 in and get 2, but then put in 1 in again and get 6. You don't want your x values to repeat, your input values. If they do repeat, they have to go to the same output, which is kind of ridiculous. You have to plot it in the same point twice. But that's what's happening here. So an ordered pair, mapping, table. Now we're going to look at graphs. Every input has exactly one output. So on here, so if we had, if we plotted any of these points that were examples, like one, two, three, four. So the, this can be a function. This can be a function. Uh, so the horizontal line can be a function. We can have it going down. These are all examples of functions. Now this graph didn't come out very well, but you're going to be able to see it. Here's a non-example. So this is non-example. Here's a non-example. A vertical line. A vertical line cannot be a function because what's, how is this being made? It's being made by repeating the x value over and over again. This is maybe like negative 3, 0, negative 3, 1, negative 3, 2, negative 3, negative 3. This, this x's are um, repeating over and over. Here's another one that's not a function. Oh, excuse me. That's wrong. Erase that. Erase that. I was going the wrong way. That is a function. It's just not linear. This is not a function. Oh, dang it. There's my lights again. So that's not a function. All right, lights, come on. Um, this is not a function because this is why. This x here and this x, these two points have the same x. And we can do a little test called the vertical line test. If you draw a line going vertically down, whatever you're trying to test, if it's a function, if it hits more than one point, it's not a function. If you draw a line straight down and it hits more than one point, it's not a function. If I draw a line from straight down this one, I only hit this point. This line here represents a function. So vertical line test means you draw a line straight down, you hit more than one point, it's not a function. If you hit just that point on that line, it's a function. Okay, so you're going to be doing some work um, about identifying functions first. Make sure you have all these notes ready for our workday tomorrow. Thank you.